are you playing Multiverses? The platform fighter that mushes together so many Warner Brothers properties that Bugs Bunny can fight Arya Stark. The plan for this video is to go over as many secrets, easter eggs, awesome details and references to other media as we can and answer such questions as why is there a golden superman in the game? You ready? Let's do this. First things first, did you know that there is a mature language toggle in the settings? By flicking this, it will allow some characters to say a few fruity things, especially Harley. That girl has a filthy mouth. Holy shoot burgers. Batman can also say ass. Computer, log that one under very bad ass. This is a big step forward for the Caped Crusader. With Rick and Morty joining the game soon, this mature filter may be the only way to play. But you've got to ask your parents first. The game demands it. Pitch it! When the internet saw Shaggy's Ultra Instinct powers, we all assumed rightly that it's a Dragon Ball reference. Shaggy is going Super Saiyan. Well, it turns out Shaggy has always had this power for real. It was first officially seen in the introduction of Mortal Kombat Legends. Check it out. What? Another Dragon Ball reference can be heard when Shaggy and Batman face off. Batman can say this. Those rumors about his power level are true. This is a subtle nod to when Goku's power level was scanned. Vegeta, what did you say his power level is? It's over 9,000! This isn't the only reference to find when Shaggy and Batman meet up. Shaggy can say this. Hey Batman, didn't we like team up one time? Dude, Batman, we're friends, remember? It turns out, as far back as the 1970s, Scooby-Doo and friends have been teaming up with the Caped Crusader to capture notorious criminals from Gotham City, like the Joker and the Penguin. Any Game of Thrones fans in the house, you'll notice that when Arya Stark gets a ring out, she'll drop a pie. This in fact is far darker than it seems, because in that pie are some of the people she's killed in Game of Thrones. Yeah, who said this was a kid's game? When Batman and Arya meet up, they share many lines. Most notably is Batman's inability to get her name right. Arya, Arya, Arya. It never gets easier, Arya. He says Arya instead of Arya, which isn't a big deal to many people, but back when Game of Thrones was running, this would annoy the heck out of all the super fans. A girl is Arya Stark of Winterfell. Over to the first ever Battle Pass, a bunch of items to unlock both free and paid. It turns out that Tier 15 holds a secret reference. In Adventure Time, Finn is learning about the levels of dating, such as touching Horn for the first time. We've all been there. He asks about Tier 15. Look, look, let me explain some junk about dating. Right now you're at Tier 1, which is hugging. What about Tier 15? Stay away from that! Do not do Tier 15! So, we now know that Tier 15 of dating has something to do with a cat and some pyjamas. In fact, let's stick with alternative skins for a moment because some have cool little backstories. Jake becomes Cake, a cat version of Jake. From that time, Adventure Time, gender swapped Finn to make Fiona and also switched Jake into a female cat. Ice Queen, why are you always predatoring on dudes? Another alternative skin is the Golden Superman variant, One Million. Outside of the game, it's also known as Superman Prime. This one goes hard. After outliving all his family here on Earth, this version of Clark Kent left our rock and spent 15,000 years in the sun. Yeah, the, literally the big ball of fire in the sky. He became a god. A very shiny golden one. I think it looks amazing, but my friends still call it Urine Superman. Rip. Shaggy's first variant is actually a completely different character. It's not Shaggy in a smoking jacket, it's Uncle Shagsworthy, who has their own lines of dialogue. And in the UK, if someone is Shagworthy, it means something very different. I'll let people in the comments explain that one. Baby, yeah. Wonder Woman's bloodline attire is taken from the 2019 movie and this moment when she gets a wardrobe update and the code name Wonder Woman. What do you think? Steven Universe's Garnet has this attire, First Fusion, and it's a nod to this scene where Ruby and Sapphire meld into one, preventing their demise. <sighs> This also ties into her defeat screen when all that is left behind are two gems on the floor. Tom and Jerry get to become pirates. This look was first seen on Tom in the Shiver Me Whiskers episode where at the end of the show Jerry became the ship's captain. 
GG's if you knew that. The other variant skins at this point are summer themed or a little bit obvious, like Harley and Batman's alts that are taken from the animated series. Harley Quinn dresses as a Harlequin, no less. It's been noted that Harley's first emote in which she stands in an acrobatic landing pose is taken from the Soulsborne games and the infamous Praise the Sun emote. I'm not too sure about that, but I quite like it. We all know that Taz wants to eat absolutely everything. To prepare for that, he'll try to season his enemies with salt and pepper. So technically, he's assaulting them. Sorry about that. Taz does have a few lines from his history though. Following a ring out, he can say this. Why for you bury me in the cold, cold ground? Which comes from this age-old animation. That's dead. What for you bury me in the cold, cold ground? More you know. If you're playing as Velma and crawl around hunting for her glasses, the entire screen will lose focus just slightly, emulating how bad her eyesight is without her specs on. Pretty cool touch. LeBron's moveset has been taken from his NBA career, but one stands out more than any other. This. You'll probably already remember the meme of this going around the internet in 2018, but if you don't, it was taken from the first game of the NBA Finals, when in the last moments, James's teammate effectively lost the game for them. And LeBron wasn't very happy at all. That birthed the meme, and now it's in the game. Maybe one day, this censored swear word here will be uncensored with the mature filter off. How often do you take your hands off the controller to check out idle animations in video games? Most of them in Rumble Versus aren't anything to shout about, but there are a few pretty cool ones. Garnet will briefly take off her shades to show she has three eyes. I'd never seen Steven Universe, so I was pretty shocked when I saw this. Batman becomes the sinister outline from the animated show, looks great. And the best of all, Tom and Jerry. If Tom and Jerry stand completely still long enough, Tom will finally catch that rodent. After 82 years of trying, all he had to do was stop chasing that mouse. Okay, let's move on to move sets. Most have general combos inspired by their origins, like Wonder Woman and the moves she has in the movie. Definite direct inspiration. Some characters, though, have really detailed moves from their subject matter. For example, when playing as Finn, after collecting 1,000 coins, you'll be able to bring out Bimo and his devastating Bimo chop. It's absolutely brutal. Adventure Time fan will already know about this scene from the TV show, but for everyone else, check it out. Bimo! Bimo! Bimo chop! If this were a real attack, you'd be dead. He's right, though. It's devastating. Bimo chop! Bugs Bunny can get his mitts on an Acme crate and bring out a ton of weapons from other franchises. He can pull out a Meeseeks box from Rick and Morty's universe, complete with unlimited Mr. Meeseeks, who have a bit of law to keep in mind. This is a Meeseeks box. You press this. I'm Mr. Meeseeks! You make a request. All done! Wow! And then it stops existing. After completing their task in life, they immediately stop existing. Bugs can also take out a banana guard from Adventure Time who runs mindlessly into battle complete with a spear. And be on the lookout for anything else strange! Surrender, please! And speaking of Adventure Time, Jake can shapeshift unlimitedly on the battlefield, leading to some strange references from the TV show. So let's try and break a few down. Becoming a horse and charging across the screen is from the time he became Bemo's trusty steed. Oh, come on, man. You didn't even try. I did try. Horses are hard. <laughs> How's that? Eh, it reads. He can become a house, a boat, a car. All three of these, again, from the show, replicated perfectly. But the one that'll stick with you is how Finn enters the car. Prepare for nightmares. Ow. The Iron Giant is the character with the most moves taken from a movie, and it's truly impressive. I didn't know many of these, so I need to thank Glickstick for locating each of these. I'll link their channel in the description below. The move which beats up and then sits on a car is taken from this scene where the Iron Giant is desperately trying to turn off a car alarm in the middle of the night. That car returns for a spinning attack, and in the movie, the giant is helping a young boy live out a flying fantasy. I kinda wanna watch the movie now. The running bomb attack is from the Iron Giant swimming scene. And of course, the afterburners under his feet are a reference too, which also leads to an uppercut as the Iron Giant pretends to be Superman.
Even his S-plate turn and his sitting animation after losing are directly taken perfectly from the movie. The attention to detail is mind-blowing. Finding all this out makes me want to give Iron Giant another go. And finally, back to Batman and the Batcave. In here are four Easter eggs to look out for. The first two are potential additions to the roster. Take a look at the computer screen in the background. Here we have the Joker, and it looks to be the Mark Hamill version. That's my cue. And as we all know, all the voices in the game are performed by the real artists from their TV or film outings. But there's bigger news than that. Look around, and you'll see the face of Alfred, the hero we all need. And yeah, there's Catwoman too, I suppose. Seriously though, a few things down here don't look like they belong, and they've been here for decades. Namely a giant coin and a T-Rex. Nerdsync's YouTube channel broke this down for me. It turns out that the T-Rex is from a dinosaur theme park in which Batman and Robin were tasked with surviving for 30 hours against animatronic dinosaurs and Neanderthals. How insane does that sound? And the giant penny on the other hand is from a bad guy called the Penny Plunderer who used it like a Trojan horse to sneak into an exhibit to steal everything. And in the end that coin fell directly on the bad guy and squished him to death. And now it's in the Batcave. Hopefully they, they cleaned it first. Multiverses promises to have years of secrets, easter eggs, references and cool details to look out for, so expect me back each and every season with more you may have missed. Like this, Green Lantern's Lantern. It's in the trailer from months ago. Did anybody notice that? I guess we wait for how to arrive. If you spot any more easter eggs, secrets or really cool details in multiverses, please let me know in the comments. I'm Adam, you're awesome, it's been a pleasure, I'll see you next time.